Hello and welcome back to the Medic Trust plugin. This is Nathan Wilkerson and um, today I just wanted to show you guys the one last tool that I've added to the Medic Tools toolbar. So now we have uh, basically six items here. Um, just to recap real quick, we've got the Trim tool, the Extend tool, the Trim 2 tool, the Trim 3 tool, the Miter cut, and now the Split tool. So today I just want to show you guys real quick what the split tool is all about. Um, and it's basically what it sounds like. <coughs> we, uh, if we want to take and split a member um, without you know erasing one side or the other, we can do that now with this tool. So just a quick uh, demonstration of that. And as soon as you click this tool, you'll notice that by default it will um, toggle uh, to selecting a face. Um, so we'll just go ahead and select this face and then we'll go ahead and select this member. And you can see right away that um, I'm going to jump in here and just move that apart. And you can see that we could basically have split that into two separate solids or groups. And you also notice too that the uh, group name is retained so basically both of these groups now have this instance name and also the layers and the materials for that group have also been retained um, so one way that sometimes comes in handy or at least with splitting things is sometimes you know you want to take a chunk out of this section of this uh, board and you want to keep this side and this side so by splitting it into two um, that allows us to now use the trim tool and say we want to bring it back to say here and we trim away this section and so now you can see that um, you know before if we trimmed away that section all of that side would disappear so now we're able to uh, open a gap up here in between uh, this uh, piece and this piece so there's really not too much to it um, you know just to demonstrate you can you can have all kinds of fun with this tool. Let's here. Let's go ahead and select a face here, and just try this foundation. And so you can see we cut the found, split the foundation, concrete, and I'm just going to move it over here, and you can take a look. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> there you go. We split the concrete. Of course, I didn't split all the rebar, but uh, yeah, it, it split that solid. And you know that's a completely separate new solid now. <coughs> um, yeah, one thing I wanted to show you guys also was now let's go ahead and uh, do this. Ag actually, let's go ahead and create a beam here. Just something real quick. Um, okay, and I am going to hit the split tool and demonstrate. Let's see. We'll go ahead and okay we split it there now I'm going to hit it again and this time I'm going to hit the you'll see what happens when I hit the control and now down here you'll see it says click first point okay so we're going to click a point and another point over here somewhere maybe another point here and now you can see it's drawn kind of the plane and then we hit um, the member to you know, any, again you don't have to click points on the member itself you can click points anywhere but basically we clicked three points here just to define that plane I'm going to jump into this here and pull it apart so you can see what we've done so you know, let's we basically split this into three separate uh, groups so there's one, two, and three. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, just wanted to show you one other little application that potentially this might find some use in. I'm going to unhide this here, little guy. So here's a little component I made. You know, it's just kind of a my uh, basically I use the follow me tool to pull this square along this uh, rectangle along this uh, path. Um, so uh, for whatever reason, uh, maybe I want to miter this joint, and that's where the three-point uh, 
really comes in handy. So right now, you know, obviously it defaults to selecting the face. I'm going to hit the control key, and now it's uh, allowing me to select uh, three points. So here's the second point, here's the third point. Okay, and now it shows me that that's where it's going to cut. I'm just going to go ahead and select the cell or the, the component itself, and then hit the space bar to jump out. And there you have it. Um, now we've got basically two components one here and one there and with a nice miter cut anyways um, that's pretty much it for this tool it's fairly useful I think but you combine it with these other tools and you can uh, pretty much do whatever you need to do to uh, you know manipulate the model like I said I find it very useful where I want to take a chunk out and um, I mean I guess I could program a, uh, another tool where you select a face here and you select a face there and then it removes everything in between but essentially you can do the same thing with with this by slicing and then and then after that you can trim or extend any one of these members that you've that are left over uh, to get them where you need them so Anyways, uh, if you have any questions or uh, concerns, uh, please give me a call or send me an email. And once again, thank you for your continual support. Thank you.